Hey, what's up guys? I know it's been a little while, but um, I gotta show you guys something. Um, a few days ago, or I guess now, it's a, maybe like a week or two ago, um, I was riding the mat behind me, and um, I must have scraped it or something on a turn, and I'll show you. So basically, what happened is the motor got scraped here, right here, you can see there's like oil dripping. I got this pad here to pick it up, but basically what happened is I scraped that, and it had already been scraped before, and I had patched it up with JB Weld. I know you guys are gonna roast me in the comments talking about, oh, why would you, uh, why would you patch it up with JB Weld? But honestly, it held up for a whole year, and probably if I wouldn't have scraped it, it wouldn't have came back open. But basically what happened is that came open, and I wasn't really aware of it, so it was leaking oil back there in like a stream on right onto the tire and I was down the street from my house probably going I don't know 10 15 miles an hour I went to go take a left turn the back tire slid out and I laid her down so I mean it's pretty bad you can see all the scratches here so you can see all the scratches on the panels the fender got messed up um, the headlight cover the, the speedometer cover um, somehow it hit this the control but it didn't hit the levers so that's good news and for somehow the mirror didn't get scraped either don't ask me how but um, the seat frame got all scraped up so I had already dropped this off to get powder coated it's gonna get powder coated um, navy blue instead of black like it was so that's gonna match the panels and then um, you can see here just demolish the motor so this probably took majority of the beating and then it bent my license plate but I bent it back but yeah so that's the bad news but the good news is I've got a lot of stuff here already um, I didn't make a video on it because honestly I was a little bit embarrassed but I picked up this lift, which is gonna help me a lot. So I got the lift. Um, I got all brand new panels from Honda. All brand new panels from the uh, foot cover to the speedometer cover. I got a front fender here. That's on my garage, kind of a mess right now because like, I just have parts everywhere. I got a new engine. It's all powder coated black, nice and fresh. Got a brand new cover on it. Um, there's all the CVT components over here, new pads, new new belt, um, new clutch, variator, everything, stator, everything's ready to go. So my next step of action here is pretty much I'm going to start tearing this all apart. And um, I mean, it was inevitable anyways because, let's see, basically how I had the battery and stuff set up, I never really showed you guys, but it was pretty ghetto. The battery was in here because this was originally a ruckus harness. So the battery I put in here, the EC is over here. I took the ECU out because I've been mocking some stuff up. But I'm, since I'm getting brand new um, foot cover panel, I figured I might as well get rid of these holes and get rid of this basket altogether. And honestly, I just didn't want to fork out the money before to have the little um, relocator box right here. And because from Rucksters, it's like $250. But basically, I'm gonna make my own. I bought this little battery tray on eBay for $45. And it fits the Ruckus battery perfectly. It's made for a chopper. Because I guess a lot of those guys will, you know, have a chopper style and mount the battery on the side with like a leather strap on the top as a tie down. But basically, I'm gonna be putting this battery box in here. And then I'm gonna try to mount. I was messing around with the ECU the other day. I'm gonna to try to mount the ECU tucked in there like that. So, see the light? So I'm gonna have the ECU tucked in there like that. I'm gonna go through all these wires and redo it. Honestly, this is the only bike that I really kind of rushed to put together. And I mean, like all my other bikes, the wiring just extremely clean. Like, look, guys, you got the wire tucked, everything, no wires. Everything's ran on nice, nice and neat. So I think it's about time for me to do this. Maybe 
maybe the accident wasn't such a bad thing. I didn't get hurt, I didn't get no scratches on me, just the back got a little damage. But yeah, I'm planning on putting the ECU tucked up in there like that. And then mount the battery, something like that in there. And I got this steel sheet right here. I'm gonna end up bending and cutting. And it'll basically mount up to here. Have a slight bend, go down, bolt to the back of this. I'll drill some holes. And then the battery will just mount in here and hold the ECU in there. I'll also make a bracket for the ECU as well. So I'll videotape all that. So all you guys who've asked me about making Metruck videos, I know this is a big thing that everybody wonders about is where do you put the battery? Where do you put the ECU? Where do you do all that stuff? I mean, most of you guys, if you do like a Power by Max wiring harness, you won't have the ECU, but um, I have the ECU because I made this harness so I can continue utilizing my electric fuel pump. But um, yeah, I'm gonna pretty much get started on this. I've got pretty much everything. Um, so yeah, once I get some time, I got some family in town, so once I get some time, I'm gonna start tearing apart the motor, get everything taken apart, stripped down, swapped over to the new engine, swap the engine in here, get that, um, get the bracket battery box thing made, mount up the ECU in here, and then install all the new panels, and hopefully by that time I'll have the seat frame back from powder coating. And um, I got a new center cap for this, finally, so it'll be as open gaping hole. Probably refinish the wheels. I don't know, maybe repaint them. I do like this color, but um, they are kind of chipped up. I don't know if you can see. Let me grab the flashlight. You can kind of see they're like they're not perfect. So try to get that taken care of. Also, probably end up touching up the front because you can see there's some scratches and stuff. Also, I got new tires, so. Um, an issue with this bike is this Maxxis tire, like over time, the way that the tread is set up, the way that the tread is, it's like goes sideways, you know? So when the tread gets worn, it kind of gets uneven. Instead of the, the tread lines going vertically, they go horizontally and it just makes the tire really bouncy. So this always kind of had like a bouncy ride after the tires got low. So I got a new tire over there. I'll get those swapped on. And I still need to buy a rear tire, but I'm pretty sure I'm just going to do the Michelin Pure Plus that I have on all my bikes because I really love those tires. But you can see, like, where it's a little low-sided. But luckily, I mean, the damage isn't that bad. The frame's still good, which is great because it has really nice paint on it. It was only really the plastics, which weren't cheap. But, yeah, I got them all brand new right here. All new Honda, everything. So... It should be fun putting it back together. Um, this time she'll be 100%. And all the wiring should be good, taken care of, nice and clean. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much where I'm at, guys, with the mat. I will have some update videos coming really, really, really soon. I just got pretty much all the parts, so I should um, start assembling it pretty soon. I think it'd be pretty awesome for you guys to see how everything's wired up for a Met. And uh, this would be a do-it-yourself way of making a battery box. But yeah, guys. So, unfortunately, I crashed a Met. <laughs> but it's not a big deal. I mean, like I said, I didn't get hurt. And the bike's in pretty good condition. It was just pretty much a wake-up call. Like, hey, finish the Met get it wired correctly not just rushed and slapped together and jank so everything should be cleaned up pretty soon peace out